All I had ever wanted to do was be a journalist, and I was very fortunate to get to do that successfully at New York Magazine. So this was never a path that I imagined for myself. Before I started Great Jones, I was a food editor at New York Magazine. I was there for a little over five years, and my job was to interview chefs, report on food trends. I was immersed in the culinary world. So while I was traveling the city, eating at every restaurant imaginable, I deprioritized my own home cooking. I wanted to spend more time in my own kitchen and become a more confident cook. The first step for me was I knew that I needed to buy new pots and pans. I had hand-me-down from my family. There was just junk underneath my sink. But when I went to try to figure out what I needed and why and what I should be spending, I found it very daunting. The nice cookware was prohibitively expensive for me to buy for myself. I became kind of obsessed with it. And very fortunately, my friend of 20 years, Maddie Molis, had worked in startups. She had built her career at Warby Parker and at Zola as a very early employee at both of those places. She came over for dinner and I said, this is driving me crazy. She had had a very similar experience when buying new cookware herself. Expensive, confusing, filled with 14 piece sets of things that she never actually ended up touching. After surveying hundreds of our friends and family and friends of friends, we left our jobs in early 2018 and we set an ambitious goal that we wanted to launch by holiday of that same year. So the first thing we did when we really got started was design our set. Maddie and I ended up speaking to factories all over the world before finding the right fit. And for us, that meant a factory that, one, agreed to make these designs, also believed in us two as entrepreneurs. We were two young women, first-time entrepreneurs, going to a factory, you know, that was often met with skepticism. We had someone I remember who said, are you sure you guys aren't teenagers? It was a challenge to be taken seriously. Neither of us had ever made a physical product before or done anything even remotely close to that. We made commitments to those factories. We built our website. We, we got our first samples. We tested them extensively. We gave feedback. We got new samples. It was a crazy, you know, six months of a lot, a lot happening. In early November of 2018, we very quietly clicked the site live and we looked at each other and suddenly it was real. A very exciting moment of that night, really before what was our launch day, was that an order came in and it wasn't my mom or Maddie's mom or one of our moms, it was an order from a total stranger. This idea that something that was a sketch, was a, was a rendering, was a 3D print, was a sample, was now an actual product that we were shipping to somebody. It's still hard for me to wrap my head around. Maddie and I knew early on that one of our superpowers and privileges was this network that we had. Bosses and people I had interviewed through my work at New York Magazine and all these entrepreneurs and really brilliant people around us. I'd say one of the major lessons of starting this was to not hesitate to ask them for advice and support, and sometimes capital. And that continues to be so important as we build Great Jones, our relationships.